this is one of the really, really cool little uh, tricks that we've done to this car. It's very, very subtle, and I can't wait to have it parked next to a stock one later on for comparison. What we've done, uh, three things to facilitate fitting a 345 tire, which is a rather large chunk of rubber. And unlike the bigger, say, B-body Dodges, like a Dodge Charger, these Mustangs, one, physically aren't as big, and two, their wheel wells are definitely not as big. <clears throat> so first thing is the frame rail on the inside. The Mustang frames actually bow out. They're not perfectly straight rails. So we notched the lower edge, or the, the rear-facing edge of the rail, thinned it up to keep a parallel line. Then the factory inner wheel tub was moved in all the way to the frame rail location. Filler panels were made to take up the uh, empty space from moving it. A new outer tub was made with a new outer flange coming out to the flare. And you're probably seeing these numbers here now and you see these cuts in this grid. What we've done is we cut the factory quarter off, and don't worry, there was damage on them anyway. And this break over here used to be an inch and a half back here. So what we did was we did a mild wide body. But um, instead of the whole thing's pulled, the trick is, is it needs to land here in the factory location, and it needs to land here in the factory location. Well, that makes a problem because this is way out here now. So these cuts are relief cuts allowing us to bow the quarter panel. So basically, if your factory quarter panel was made of silly putty, I just grabbed here and went Rrr! and pulled the thing out an inch and a half, but we did it in a gentle arc that you really, you won't be able to tell. Mustang guys will be able to tell that something is done. They're not going to be able to put their finger on it very quickly. Um, so now we're able to house this giant tire without big, you know, road race kind of flares. It's got a, a factory look to it because everything's factory. We just kind of altered the shelf a little bit. So very, very proud of this. One of the things you're not going to be able to see right now is all the carbon fiber pieces that we helped make with Anvil Auto. And uh, Anvil is the owner of the car. And one of the main reasons it was being built was a, um, a launch vehicle for Anvil's new Ford line of products for all the Mustang guys. They're going to be starting with 69 and 70. There'll be a hood, fenders, front and rear bumper, chin spoiler, and rear deck spoiler, and uh, quarter extensions. So you'll be seeing those a little later on when the car comes back from paint, you'll be able to see those pieces. But one of the neat things we did on the front fenders is right here at this flare, where the flare meets the body on the fender, there was a cut made and it was pulled out about an inch and an eighth and then it was filled and done in such a way that we didn't break up the body line that's in the front fender. So you've got a widened front fender for a little wider tire and it's extremely subtle and that's the key is to keep things really subtle. Um, and we'll, we'll show you that a little later on. But really proud of this.